Finally tonight, the images in the yearbook from Medina Middle School are literally popping off the page. And Grafton students can still flip through the pages and write messages to all their friends. Yeah, but in order to see everything, they're going to need to use their phone. Well, school using technology to spice up the yearbook. School year comes to a close. Yearbooks are being distributed. And this year, some of the books are not what you're accustomed to. They are not just filled with photos. 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 So to start the year, we have this ability to have a 3D yearbook. We have um, a football player scoring a touchdown. Oh we have um, the school's lift up video. We have the homecoming queen being crowned. It's very exciting. Lots of oohs and ahs from kids. And um, it's slick. And it's going to be a great new addition. It's not a normal yearbook like this one. Instead, as you can see, it's interactive. And it was a really exciting thing to see that, like, all the hard work that we put into it, like, come alive and, like, actually be something exciting. Like, wow, amazing. Like, how did that happen? So this year we're implementing technology into the book. We have an app. The video feature is the latest innovation to hit the yearbook market. The app was part of the yearbook company package offered to the school. A lot of positive feedback, especially from the senior class. They all really love having an interactive yearbook, especially because it's their last one. Next year, they plan to do more with it. Our parents only have pictures. Now we have videos we can look at, too, and just remember things that much better when we're older. It's, it's really like a really cool experience. With this new technology, we're going to really stick with the times, make sure users of this at day and age are able to still interact with it and see the value. It's my baby, and you know I couldn't be more proud of it. But yeah, it's definitely something I'll show my kids, and so they can see what life was like when I was in high school. At Pine Richland High School, Sarah Arbogast, KDKA TV News.